Hey guys, it's Charles Austin here with Liquid Blue Cabaretti in Cabaretti, bringing you a little bit of a tip and tricks, tips and tricks video of how to do a jive wing foiling. So we've covered it before, but I want to cover it this time with a bit of B-roll so that people can see how do you actually, how can you practice on the land how to do your jibes and then how can you translate that into the water. So there's a couple exercises that are great for getting into jibes, which is doing these S turns. And the S turns essentially, whoa, don't have it on my waist. So the S turns essentially is that once you're riding, no matter what direction it is, you're going to pull with your backhand to get a little bit of power and then you're gonna follow the wing. And what this is gonna do is that when I'm riding upwind, all right, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be going in the upwind position, but now when I start getting some power, I'm gonna let off of my edge or of that upwindness that I'm doing, and I'm gonna go down with the wind. And as I go down with the wind, I can tailor this exercise to my comfort level, and then I can develop with time. So it's a progressive sort of exercise where if I'm not that confident, I might pull on the wing a bit, go a little bit downwind, and then get my edge again. But also now as I get better and better, I might start going downwind, and you see, I'm trying to show you that I'm keeping my front foot forward here so that this position, I'm going really down with the wind and then eventually I'm gonna go back up with, right? So how you can practice this and sort of have a feel for it is that when you're walking on the beach or if you're on the beach or on wherever you're at, once you start pulling on that back wing, you feel that it's pulling you away, right? So you wanna hold that power in, but then you're gonna wanna translate it into your feet and sort of go with it down into the wind. And what the hap what's happening here is that you're getting comfortable riding your foil flat. A lot of people are not comfortable with that because it feels a little bit odd because it could tilt either left or right. So there you really need a good balance so that the foil doesn't tilt over to one side or the other and then you're falling. And you can do this safely with just having the wing above your head when you're riding, pulling down on the back handle a bit, losing that edge, riding it flat. Now, if you wanna add an extra element of difficulty, what you can try to do is that you accelerate, you let go of the wing with your backhand, and then you try to go down with the wind. And then you try to go back, you follow it, and then you go back into the wind, you grab your back handle, and then you go upwind. So these are some exercises that I'm gonna show you some footage of it, where you can practice this progressively by yourself. And eventually, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna to get to a point where you can really go down into the wind, right? And eventually come, go back around into your jive. So now this is where I lead to my next points of what are you actually gonna do with your hands? What are you actually gonna do with your feet? And how is this all gonna to come together? So once we're comfortable about to do the jive, the jive is essentially a transition move, right? So if I'm going towards shore right now, it's essentially gonna make me turn around and go back out to sea in a bit of a stylish way, let's say, an efficient way, where I won't have to stop, start again, and get going. So the jibe, essentially, is that you start getting speed, you start losing your edge, and you can either have the wing above you or in front of you, and let's, in this case, do it above us, where we're gonna be going back over. But you see, if I just try to go like this, look at my arms. This is not gonna work out. So. At one point in time, you're gonna have to let go of your backhand, and then you're gonna have to switch your hands to eventually be toe-sided. For some people, this might be natural, and for others, it might not be natural. Once you're toe-sided, the awkward part is, is that you might not be able to twist your body into the normal position that you're used to. So your wing is gonna feel a little bit odd, and also your feet position. So what happens here, is that you need to get comfortable with first what I was mentioning being generating speed and then being able to control the foil without having your hand on the on the wing so that you can turn around in this position you should be able to be somewhat comfortable with your balance and then once you're here and also with your balance straight up and down the most common issue is that people start doing the jibes and then they nosedive or they fall back because they lean back. And you wanna to try to always be balanced, centered above your board. So remember we go from here 
We're gonna be with our wings. We're gonna bring our wings above our heads. And then we're gonna have to let go of our hand, hand back handle. And once we're here, we're gonna have to switch our hands and then grab the wing again. And when we re-engage it, it's gonna pull us a little bit. So that's why being in a bit of an active stance and ready for that is gonna be key to be able to do a successful jive. And now from this position, we have sort of two choices, switching our feet or turning back around. And in my case, I always like to switch my feet. So when you're gonna switch your feet off of a jive, you need to press down on your front foot to be able to bring that board, you're applying pressure to, whoop, uh, you're applying pressure to the front of, to your foil essentially, which helps stabilize it, to then once you press down, switch your feet in one motion. A lot of people have the issue that when they're trying to switch their feet, they start doing this inching over sort of effect. And when they're, in, when they're inching over their feet like this, eventually they become unstable and then they just sort of crash. Some people manage to pull it off, going to the center and then switching. But the recommendation is just doing it in one motion where you're toe sided, you press down, and then you switch your feet, right? So one of the keys in wing foiling is having speed. If you don't have speed, it's gonna be hard for you to do any maneuvers in reality. And, and that's something to remember because a lot of people go into new maneuvers slow. And I'm not saying that you wanna go at high speeds and just get yourself hurt, but you need to maintain a solid speed so that you keep stability and you keep lifting your foil essentially. So the part of switching the hands that we gotta remember, if you switch your hands with the wing down here, it's gonna be challenging. You wanna switch your hands ideally with the wing above your head at 12 o'clock. And then from there, you could either keep it above your head and ride away, or you could bring it down a little bit lower and ride away that way. If you wanna do the turning around point, you're gonna again have to get some speed, bring the, bring the wing above you, right? Here the wind's a little, bit gust, uh, a little bit shifting right now. Bring the wing above you, go back down around, and then as you're going, re-engage the wing. So those are the key points to be remembering when you're trying to do the jive, is that you wanna go into it with speed, you, wanna, you can use some small exercises like the S's to build up the building blocks, which is getting comfortable on your foil without having the wing engaged, so you're not having that power, you're just using the, the natural power, the power you generated, and then also getting comfortable with sort of getting your body to come back around. Because with the S's, you can go as far downwind as you want. Of course, I wouldn't go past sort of this point where your body is really twisted. But then again, once you get to the level that you can let go of your backhand, then you can twist yourself almost entirely into the jive and then come back around, re-engage the wing and ride away. So to make sense of this, because it's sort of hard to show it on land, we're gonna do footage on the water so you can see that. And then remembering the next part is gonna be switching your hands. Once you switch your hands, you see here I grabbed the leash, but I shouldn't let that worry me. So you really just wanna grab the handles. No matter if you grab the leash, don't grab the leash, just grab the handles and then re-engage the wing to be in the proper position to go back out. And you'll most likely, when you start doing the jibes, you're gonna end up a little bit downwind, which is normal, until you get comfortable with shifting your hips into the wind and then being able to bring yourself upwind. And as you go more and more upwind, what you're gonna have to do is that, you see, if I bring my wing too much in front of me, I lose power. So I'm gonna have to keep it a little bit behind me engaged. And when that happens, my, my sort of core is nice and tight uh, because I'm engaging it to really twist it back the wind, the wing behind me so it captures the wind and then brings me away. So, with that, to put sense to it, you're gonna see it on the video on the basic exercises to start getting into jives and then eventually get jiving. And then you're gonna have one of two ways to transition or three ways, which is either going into the jive and then whoop, uh, That's a light board. And um, once you go into the jibe, the water might take it away next. But once you go into the jibe, you're gonna have the option of either pressing down on the board to switch your feet all in one motion, or you're gonna have the option to turn back around and then going, which sometimes is a little bit difficult. 
And the other option of sort of slowing down, letting the board touch the water. If you're on a bigger board, it'll be easier. If you're on a small board, it's gonna be challenging, so it's better to learn on a bigger board. Letting the board touch the water and then switching your feet. So without anything else really being said, practice those jives. What I was doing and what I still do today is that I was making every transition an opportunity to practice a jive. And this can apply to tricks, this can apply to the jives as I mentioned, and it can apply to anything. Taking a chance to really practice on the things you don't want to practice on. One thing personally that I don't enjoy is starting on the sinker boards coming back to shore. It's a little bit awkward for me, it's not my natural side. And I force myself to practice. And that's sort of the key, is that you want to practice everything to eventually become a more complete and well-rounded rider. So anyways guys, this is Charles Ostlin with Liquid Blue Cabaretti in Cabaretti, Dominican Republic. And without any further ado, I'll leave you with a view of the bay. <laughs>